when we remove the Lord's name from the name of his church, we inadvertently remove him as the central focus of our worship and our lives. We unveiled a new symbol signifying our faith in the Lord Jesus Christ and for visual recognition of official church information and materials. We have called for a global day of fasting and prayer that the present pandemic may be controlled, caretakers, caregivers protected, the economy strengthened, and life normalized. This fast will be held on Good Friday, April 10th. What a great Friday that will be. Next Sunday is Easter Sunday, when we will again commemorate the atonement and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. Because of his atonement, his gift of resurrection will come to all who have ever lived, and his gift of eternal life will come to all who qualify by fidelity to ordinances and covenants made in his holy temples. The many inspiring components of this April 2020 General Conference and the sacred week that we now begin can be summarized by two divinely decreed words, hear him. We pray that your focus on Heavenly Father who spoke those words and on his beloved Son, Jesus Christ, will loom largest in your memories of all that has transpired. We pray that you will begin anew, truly, to hear, hearken to, and heed the words of the Savior. I promise that decreased fear and increased faith will follow. This is not the church of Joseph Smith. This is the church of Jesus Christ.